folks, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. We're looking at Arc Trooper, Arc Commander Havoc uh, from Vintage Collection. He's number 274, as you can see at the top there. Um, yeah, this is the first one to come out for me, at least, with the uh, 20th anniversary uh, Clone Wars logo, which is awesome. It's hard to believe it's 20 years, but it was 2003 that the original Gendi Tartakovsky series came out. So yeah, 20 years of Clone Wars, and uh, you know, I've always said for the longest time that you know, Clone Wars almost has its own fan base. You know, it's it, it does cover quite a broad range, um, and yeah, there is a lot of nostalgia attached to Clone Wars. So this is the first one of the new Arc Commanders that are coming out. I think we're getting uh, Colt and Blitz as well in the coming months. So yeah, this one came out today I wasn't even aware that it was coming out I just happened to walk into EB games and uh, thought I'm grabbing that I'm grabbing that today see so, yeah, all the rest on the back um, scout troopers still to come I haven't seen him out yet um, I have reviewed Luke Cassian cow um, hoping to get an artillery stormtrooper real soon Vel Sartha is one I'm just I will get her at some point I'm um, just not in a rush Clatoonian Raider is one I'm going to pass on because I've got the got it with one with the ATST and that's enough for me um, unless they go on clearance at some point I may pick up a, another one to to uh you know just kit bash a little bit to go with the uh with the other one and yeah our commander Havoc who we have right here so loving the uh artwork on the box definitely feels that same way that all the other Clone Wars figures um, have come out. It's sort of slightly animated, but they're going for a realistic sort of style in the package. So let's, let's just get straight into it and take him out. So we'll get rid of the card back, get rid of the plastic or the paper. And uh, yeah, let's try and prize him out nice and quick. Weapons. All right. Zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, I'm just going to stand him back. Obviously, just a, a repaint of um, some of the other Arc Troopers we've had in recent years. Uh, we had the Echo Fives Jesse Three Pack. Since then, we've had them individually released, um, and yeah, it's a, it's a good sculptor figure. So I'm not upset that they're they're going to be reusing this for multiple variations of Arc commanders and Arc troopers and stuff. So I'm I'm happy with it. So here's Havoc's helmet. Nicely painted. Excuse the dogs in the background. <laughs> So it looks like it, it will it will rotate um, just a little bit soft uh, the plastics just a little bit soft I have had it in my backpack uh, in a hot car for a little while so it's a little bit soft it does come with blaster rifle this is, feels a little bit flimsy you know it's that's not great. Shorter blaster blaster rifle. They're a little bit firmer, but they've definitely done better. And then the two pistols. Which feel like they're smaller than ever, but I know that's just how they've been um, with these newer figures. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the figure itself. So he's got Havoc, he's got the long mutton chops there, and the goatee. Which kind of looks like the uh, bit of the helmet there. <laughs> you would be able to remove the backpack and pauldron. Um, but yeah, I'll end up gluing that on because I have no need to take it off. And just being able to glue it in place, just 
It just makes me happy. It just makes it better. <laughs> Get a nice close up. So I assume this is the same head as uh, the Echo 5s. Um, obviously Jesse was bald. Um, pop the helmet on. And yeah, he's a, he's a great looking art trooper. I'm going to put those pistols in the holster there as they are working, working holsters, so that's nice. I wish I had all the other art troopers on hand so I could have the uh, ability to do a little comparison but I have reviewed each of those Echo 5s and Jesse I have reviewed them previously so if you'd like to compare them you can definitely go back and check them out just search for them in my YouTube channel you should be able to find them pretty easily Yeah, I'm liking this, this blaster rifle here, the shorter one. I do appreciate they give them all the weapons, which is which is cool, but when this thing is almost just, you know, it's a soft rubber, you know, that, that's it's not very good. And he is holding that one on the image, so that's good. But yeah, it's, he's a nice looking figure. I rate him a lot. Definitely uh, look forward to the day where my collection is out on display again and I can get all the uh, clones and art troopers and stuff out together again. But yeah, looking forward to uh, Cult and Blitz, which they did do in uh, the Clone Wars line. The only one I ever got was Cult. The other ones were quite difficult to track down, so still never picked up those in their animated style, but it'd be nice to complete the three different art commanders in vintage vintage collection, realistic style. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Please sound out in the comments down below. Clones are always a always a big win. And I was glad I got one that was really nicely painted, really nice sort of clean paint apps, the visors all in the right place, which is, you know, there's been a few clones over the last few years that haven't been so clean. So well, yeah, let me know, again, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon for another video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.